Countless video games have attempted to capture the essence of movies, yet only a rare few manage to pull that off. There's one game that stands out as an exception. This game is The Getaway. You don't tell me where my son is, you better kill me now! Uh, I'll tell you. Your kid dies! I don't think any amount of cash is gonna get you out of this one. Ah, uh, you're probably right. You killed my wife! You wanna see your kid alive? You do exactly what I say. Alright, Charlie. I don't want you arms. I want my kid back. The Getaway is a third-person action-adventure video game that was developed by Sony's Team Soho for the PlayStation 2. Team Soho was first known for NBA Shootout, also known as Total NBA in Europe. Their other games included This Is Football, Spice World, Rapid Racer, and Porsche Challenge, which was actually the inspiration for the Getaway game. Team Soho later became London Studio. Speaking of London, Londoners can find themselves right at home with the getaway as it is set in a fictionalized and highly detailed recreation of London. The entire game takes place during the span of a single day and it is played with two different characters. The first half of the game follows ex-convict Mark Hammond and the second half of the game follows Detective Constable Frank Carter. The Getaway focuses on third-person action and driving and gunplay. Characters can perform a series of physical tasks such as walking, sprinting, rolling, shooting, and taking cover during gunfights. During the missions, players are able to go anywhere, but the missions have strict time limits. However, after finishing the game, the players are able to select the free roaming option in the menu which gives the player the option of roaming freely around London without any missions. The game can be very difficult to get used to due to its level of realism. In the getaway, there is no heads up display and players have to rely on visual cues to determine what their health and ammunition is. But this realism does not end there, as the game also features a number of licensed vehicles from real car manufacturers that the players can control. These include brands like Alfa Romeo, Nissan, Lexus, Honda, Toyota, and more. And of course, the weapons, which include things like the Glock 17 handgun, the AK-47 assault rifle, and the Remington 870 shotgun. The game is rated M for Mature due to having violence, drugs, nudity, torture, and the list goes on. This, mixed with its realism, had of course brought a lot of controversy. The getaway was banned in certain places and during the mission Filthy Business on Mark Hammond's story, a BT or British telecommunication van is used and due to the violence in that mission, BT had requested that it be removed from the game, which the getaway did. The getaway was more than well received and had even sold over a million copies, so much so that a sequel was made called The Getaway Black Monday. Well, it, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure, Craig. You're leaving us? Yes, I'm going to be working at Anderson's just up the street. Anderson's? Hmm, that's a shame. Now turn your back on us, would you? After all, we've come for you. The rules of the London underworld. Learn to live by them. Rated M for Mature. The Getaway Black Monday was released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2. It is still set in London, and it is inspired by such movies as Get Carter, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, and more. The story is set about two years after the events of the original game and this time there's three different playable characters. Ben Mitchell, a policeman, Eddie O'Connor, a boxer, and Sam Thompson, a scam artist. Each character has their own abilities, 
background, motivation, and perspective. Just like the first game, Black Monday has no heads-up display and player's health is shown by how bloody the character is. Health is restored by leaning against a wall or using a first aid kit. The vehicle damage is represented by smoke and reduced performance and features over a hundred vehicles still including licensed brands like before. Throughout 22 missions, players engage in intense gunfights, combat, and stealth segments. This game is full of action and comedy with hours of story and gameplay, and your choices throughout the game can lead to multiple endings. Black Monday was well received, and even with its mixed reviews, it also sold over a million copies, making this yet another successful game in the series. London Studio then made a shift to Sony's PlayStation Portable console and released a spin-off game called Gangs of London. Gangs of London is a spin-off game of the Getaway series released in 2006 for the PlayStation Portable. Players choose from five different gangs in London with several objectives along the way. The game was packed with missions that include kidnapping, stealth, and racing. Gangs of London was special as it also had other objectives and mini-games like running enemies off the road, taking pictures of London as a tourist, being a police officer, or causing havoc by killing pedestrians with different weapons. There's even speed games where you have to prevent a bomb from exploding inside a vehicle and so much more. I mean seriously, the game even has a bar where you can play darts, 8-ball, and other games. Gangs of London was well received, especially when you factor in that it was a portable game with so much that was packed into it. There was of course instant love from the original fans, and in fact, Gangs of London continued its way to television with a British TV series of the same name. The Gangs of London TV series was created by Gareth Evans and follows the struggles between rival gangs and other criminal organizations in present-day London. This was yet another successful part of the Getaway series that led to a graphic novel called Gangs of London Story Ghosts. So, where is the Getaway 3? The Getaway 3, also known as Getaway, was supposed to be the third installment in the series and would have been released for the PlayStation 3. It was confirmed that the game would again be set in London, and a video demo featuring London's Piccadilly Circus was demonstrated in 2005 at E3. This was supposedly not directly from the game. There were later rumors that the game could also feature Amsterdam. Getaway was officially shown in Sony's E3 2006 press conference with this trailer. Although Getaway was reported as cancelled in 2008, along with another anticipated game called 8 Days, it was later reported as actually being on hold. In other words, they are still working on the Getaway 3 
and eight days for those who are interested. Lastly, London Studios created a virtual reality game called Blood and Truth, which was based on the London Heist level in PlayStation VR Worlds. London Studios initially envisioned the game to be an installment in the Getaway series. Unfortunately, this is the last that we have heard from the Getaway series, and although it has been a long time, there have been other games that took years to be released as well. A special thanks to those who voted on which game in the series they like best, and Gangs of London came out on top. Anyway, what do you think? Is it time for the Getaway series to make a return? Are you looking forward to the Getaway 3? Should the fans just give up hope? Let us know. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to help our channel grow. This video is part of our Lost Game series, where we speak about fan favorite gems like this one and many others that deserve a remake and or sequel. Plus, check out our other videos like gaming conspiracies or gaming history and more at Game Circle TV.